The prophet Hosea is such an interesting character to me. Don't know if you've heard about him. I'll give you a little bit of a picture about him. His name actually means salvation. It's derived from the same root Hebrew word for Joshua and Jesus. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, um, God commanded Hosea, Hosea, the prophet, to marry a prostitute. Did you know that? Yeah. He commanded Hosea to marry a prostitute. And then he said, welcome to my world. (laughs) God, with regards to Israel, who were by nature unfaithful. But here's what Hosea says. I will love them freely. Isn't that amazing? What God has done through this man is is given him insight into God's position as it pertains to his family. And then he's exposed through Hosea, his real heart or his heart. God is love. And that he would say, I will love them freely removes all of the obligation on the one who is loved. Yet that will draw them in to a position and a place where the response will be because of love, not obligation, which is essentially what Israel were operating on before the cross. This word freely is worth having a look at. And it combines three main ideas, freely. Free will, readiness of mind, largeness, abundance, copious. Copious is a great word if you're getting something good. Copious amounts of what? Cash? Then you want copious, don't you? God is saying to us, what comes freely from me is not ordinary. It's not based on human proportions. It's based on divine proportions. And when we're talking about what comes freely from God, he talks in the realm of large, abundance, copious amounts, a free will offering. We understand in this context, that's exactly what Jesus was. He became copious amounts of whatever we would need and it would come to us freely from the heart of a father revealed through his son towards sons. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9, for it is by God's grace that you have been saved through your faith. It is not the result of your own efforts, but God's free gift, free grace, free will. It's God's part. So that no one can boast about it. So The arm of man is essentially tied behind his back. You are disarmed. And to the extent we try to earn what can only come freely, we render its work of no effect, which is why religion is dead. Because it is trying to perform that which it is not entitled to, capable of, or have the value of performance. Instead of surrendering by faith to trust in what Christ himself has performed. Whatever is, okay, let me state something really obvious, right? Whatever is not free is not a gift. Is that fair? Sorry to get so basic this morning, but I want to make sure I get it. (laughs) Um, The iPad 2 is coming out soon. iPad Air number 2. Mark 2, iPad Air Mark 2. You want to see it, man? Looks amazing online. Yeah. It's the thinnest ever, none thinner than the iPad Air Mark II coming out before Christmas. Man, that'll be a nice Christmas present. It's got, it's specced up to the max. Whatever specs you want, it's got copious amounts of. <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So here's the thing. If, if, if I, when Apple releases it before Christmas, go and get one and I wrap it up and then I come around to your house and give it to you at Christmas, you're going to be pretty happy with me, right? You're going to unwrap it, and you're going to go, no, it can't be. 
I see a little Apple logo right on the top there, but it cannot be the iPad Air Mark II. No way. That, that would be huge. That would be copious. And as you rip the paper off, there it is. It is the latest, greatest iPad Air Mark II. You love me. You are just, you're the man, Richie. So special to me. Want some chocolate cake? Some Christmas cake? Whatever you want, mate. Today, you can have it. Thanks, brother. So I come and have Christmas dinner with you. And then just as I'm walking out the door, I flip you the invoice for the iPad Air. I got you. <laughs> How do you feel now? <laughs> yeah. Is it a gift? Is it still a gift? Am I still a giver? <laughs> oh, no. That's all changed. There's an invoice for about $1,100. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. Let me lighten it for you. You can make 10% installments. Is that easier? Yeah. You pay for it that way. Is that a gift? See, that's, that's not... God doesn't think that way. A, a free gift is a free gift. That's his son. You're not going to get an invoice to back up the gospel of grace and truth. Right? The invoice has been paid. It was nailed actually to a cross at Calvary and stamped paid in full. And the substance of the stamp was the blood of the one who paid the price. And his name is Jesus. There's value in this gospel. 